Hello and welcome back to Airgun Weekly. Uh, this week I am here to answer a big question of mine. How, uh, how much damage do pellet guns do to drywall? And uh, today I don't necessarily have different caliber sizes, but I do have different speeds. I have, hey I'll just show you. This is what I got for today. Right here we got the Revolver Vigilant uh, Crossman and my wife's dad uh, donated this laser to me. It's uh, really nice, I got her in pretty good, as close as I can with an air rifle. And then out of this we'll be shooting these, Ultra Magnums, 10.5 grains, and also just regular steel BBs with a copper coating. And then we're gonna move up to this, by the way, uh, roughly a little over 400 feet per second for both. I think one's BBs are 450 and pellets are about 415, 430. But uh, right here we got the 880S Daisy. We'll be shooting a same same pellets out of this and then also a BB. Just one of each and that's uh, 700 feet per second roughly. And then this will be our final. This one we're going to shoot two different types of pellets. We're going to shoot our heavy pellets and then we're going to be shooting our ballistics to see if there's a difference because these are made to penetrate but these are a lot heavier. These are about I think around three grains if not more larger in weight and this is my black ops sniper rifle by the way it's very schnazzy you know it's it says on paper about 1200 feet per second but it's really around 900 maybe a little over that to a thousand but still and right here's our fancy target for the day I took a dog cage and cut some drywall to size we got what one two three four five six seven layers of drywall. I don't think we're gonna need quite that many today, but we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna set you guys next to the target and I'm gonna grab the uh, revolver, the Vigilant, first, and I'm gonna be shooting a BB. And what I'm hoping to get here is, I'm gonna set you guys down so you can see through the layers. And I got something on my computer that I can slow it down and I'm hoping I get it to work and I'm just rolling with it because once I do this it's I, I don't have no more drywall so wish me luck but I'm gonna set you guys down here I'll go grab the vigilant and shoot a BB first and then I'll come down see what we have and then so on and so forth with different calibers but uh I'm gonna set you guys down and we'll get started Well, I'm not going to show you that slow-mo because there was nothing to show you. I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean here. Um, 400 feet per second, uh, as you see, didn't do nothing. It just stuck there. Not in, The whole BB ain't even in there. So we're going to move up to a pellet and see what happens. See if I can get you guys a good image. Well, pretty much the same thing happened. The pellet stuck right in it. I don't know if I got a bad cartridge. I doubt it. But I was shooting these. I just started in that laser on that revolver yesterday. And I was, it was about 50-50, I guess, for a pellet going through or not. But I was using uh, destroyers instead of just uh, round ones. So, but here's uh, what we got. I guess if you guys want to see it. Right there, it's beautiful. Just get a close in on it. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna move to the Daisy 880. That's gonna go through some drywall. So you should get some slow mo. We're gonna start with uh, BB and see what happens. You guys see anything cool? I don't know how this slow mo is gonna work. It's really dark. Usually need good lighting, like spotlights and everything, to get a good slow motion. But uh, here's what I found out. Uh, here was our hole, right there. 
This is a BB from the 880. It went through the first layer. I don't know if you guys can see that powder down there. Uh, focus right there. That's where she went in the second. And then right there is where she came out the second layer, but did not penetrate the third. So we're gonna move on to a pellet and see what happens. All right, here we are. That was a 10.5 grain pellet out of the 880S Daisy, and here's what happened. It sounded like it hit really hard. You know, you went through here. And you look at that perfect hole, by the way. It's just beautiful. And you ended up going through the back. Focus. You went through the second, came out the second. But, I mean, you put quite the right there. Uh, towards the bottom if it helps. That's quite the little dent there. I think the pellet's stuck in there. It um, doesn't appear to have done anything to the back. Maybe a small bulge. But it appears nothing's getting past the second. I mean it goes past the second but it doesn't go through the third. I put seven layers in here thinking that we'd need it. But I guess this is why why you make the video so you you know you figure it out you don't know these things before you do them so you just overdo them just so you can make sure you have enough and I'd like to thank uh, one of my friends Kurt for uh, donating me this drywall for the video it really helped because I didn't want to go out and have to buy some for the video he's doing a house and he had extra pieces so he let me have them and I'd like to say thank you for that we're gonna move on to the Black Ops Sniper. At first, I'm gonna shoot the 10.5 grain, see how far we get with that, and then after that, I'm gonna use the ballistic to see if that gets us anywhere, you know, any farther, any shallower. I'm hoping to at least get four out of this. I'm guessing we'll probably go through the third, nick the fourth, but that don't make me feel a little better about having seven pieces of drywall in this dog cage right now. But I hang tight and I'll be right back. All right, let's see what happened. Came in right here, kept cruising along with that. Oh, there you go. Focus for the peoples. Uh huh, focus on the cage. There you go. That went through there. Came through there. Went through. And then it hit the fourth. And it put quite the. I don't know if you can see that bulge right there, but it put quite the. It put quite the bulge in that fourth sheet, so I'm pretty satisfied. That was a 10.5 grain. Now we're going to go ahead and shoot the lighter ballistic and see how far that can go and I do apologize if this slow-mo isn't working out it's my phone has it but my computer can't do it and I found an app that allows me to slow it down some more and I'm just hoping that the computer can handle it but I'll get you guys set up that ballistic It uh, went in here, went in down there, I don't, I don't know, I think it's the top hole, and then went in there, and it came out, did come out the third, and it did hit the fourth, oops, sorry, right there, but it didn't bulge at, at all compared to the, like, the last one you can see from clear over here, like Mount Everest over there. But yeah, it didn't bulge it at all, but still, that's why we do these things, you know, to figure things out, you know. I didn't know how a pellet gun slash BB gun would do against drywall. And all this drywall is half inch, by the way, so if that makes a difference. So two pieces be an inch, four would be two inches. So, but uh, here, I'll tell you about this right here. 
right there. Me and my wife been hearing cats under the house, so I went and looked. And they were under the house, but they were up in the bedding in uh, a trailer. It has uh, what you would call a bedding under it. And it's kind of like where all your insulation is and everything. And there was kittens in there. I only did find one kitten. And I gave it to my aunt. Uh, if anyone's interested, I will put a, put the cat in the next video. Just so you can see. She's only like three weeks old. She is the cutest. I wanted to keep her, but my kid would have probably killed it pretty fast he about stepped on her a few times within the hour that we had her so gave her to my aunt I got her I bought her a bunch of toys got her a cat litter box I got her all set and it's a good place for her, the little cat they don't even have a name yet I'll have to ask her and I'll let you guys know in the next video but um thank you guys for joining and if you have any ideas let me know I'm thinking for my next video I'm either gonna do a coconut for the human skull with something to represent human skin I'm not sure what and or I should say uh, the different pipes like um, schedule 40 schedule 30 uh, drain field pipe field tile it's what I do for a living so it's I have a few pieces here and there but I'd like to thank you guys for joining and I'll see you next time